this launches on time, then in about 20 minutes from now, what you're seeing right there on the ground will be orbiting the Earth at over 16,000 miles an hour. Had no harbor issues yesterday or today, and weather did not cooperate yesterday with clouds, but uh, this morning they stayed offshore and away from the Kennedy Space Center, enough to allow a launch attempt uh, this morning. Coming up in about uh, 12 minutes from now. Uh, how many G-forces will the astronaut fe astronauts feel around? Three, three Gs at uh, maximum G-force. Uh, a couple things to note, as soon as we hit T-minus nine minutes and counting, Karen and I are going to go away. We're going to leave you just with NASA TV. Uh, you're going to have their audio all the way up through external tank separation. Once we have external tank separation, don't go away. Stay with us. We're going to come back to you. We'll answer any questions you may have. We'll be talking space geekery for a little while longer. In addition, we're going to bring up our mission ascent statistics. The mission ascent statistics, you're going to notice the altitude in feet starts at negative 23 feet. And that's because we do do this at sea level. And right now, the orbiter is 23 feet below sea level. Those ascent statistics will be updated in, in near-ish real time, about once a second per object. And you'll be able to see the thrust of the space shuttle main engines, its altitude, Mach velocity, and downrange statute miles. That's what the SM stands for. So in about one minute and 15 seconds, you're not going to hear us anymore. You're going to get the vehicle ascent statistics. And uh, hopefully, if all goes well, in 20 minutes, we'll come back to you uh, talking about how freaking awesome night launches are. seconds. And 30 seconds remaining in this final hold. All right, kids, we're going to leave you with NASA TV. Godspeed, Endeavor. The countdown, the count, clock countdown clock will resume in 5, 4, 3, 2, two 1. T minus nine minutes and counting. Nine minutes and counting. VLS auto sequence has been initiated. Confirmation of the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. It means all countdown functions are now automatically controlled by this the GLS computer that's located in here in the firing room. At the T-minus 31 second point, the ground launch sequencer issues a command to the five onboard general purpose computers. The redundant set launch sequencer or RSLS software. Right, T-minus eight minutes and five seconds of counting. Pilot Terry Verts is now setting switches in the cockpit to directly connect the three onboard fuel cells to the essential power buses in Endeavour. Three fuel cells provide all the electricity for the shuttle while it's in orbit. T minus Seven minutes, 30 seconds and counting. DLS is go for orbiter access arm recheck. Endeavor OTC, let's start out the year with the delivery and installation of tranquility and the installation of the cupola, providing a breathtaking view of the Earth and giving you windows to the world. You see the orbiter access arm being moved away from the hatch of Endeavor. the walkway that the crew uses to get in and out of the shuttle and it can be returned into position within a few seconds if necessary.
We're at T-minus six minutes. 30 seconds and counting. Terry Burks is giving the go-ahead, been given the go-ahead to start the auxiliary power units. And the APUs provide pressure to the shuttle's three hydraulic systems, which uh, move the main engine nozzles and the aero surfaces on the shuttle. T minus five minutes, 55 seconds and counting. Thank you. We're fine that the APUs are up. We're at T minus five minutes and thirty seconds in counting. T minus five minutes and counting. TLC go for orbiter APU start. TLC OTC perform APU start. CDR recon CDR reconfigure heater. Terry Burst has been given the go ahead to start the auxiliary power units. The launch team has now terminated the liquid oxygen replenished to the external tank and is now initiating the liquid oxygen drain back from the piping at the bottom of the shuttle. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds and counting. OTC, PLP. Copy. We're T minus four minutes and counting. CLS is go for purge sequence four. The final helium purge of the three main engines is now underway. Preparation for main engine start. See the final aero surface checks are being complete and Endeavour's three main engines are being moved through a pre-programmed series of maneuvers. It's the final test before launch. Prove that they are will do the steering that they need to get Endeavour into orbit. T minus three minutes and counting. DLS is show for EC LO2 pressurization. We're going to go to bring the final pressurization of the external tank's liquid yeah. oxygen. OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. See the gaseous oxygen vent hood, or it's also known as the beanie cap, is being slowly OTC retracted OTC away from the top of the external tank. Unexpected errors. Copy that, thank you. Caution warning system has been cleared. No Flight issues there. Right. Close them like your visors and initiate O2 flow. Endeavour has visors and O2 phone work. Copy. We're at T minus two minutes and counting. Let's just go for E2, LA2 pressurization. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being stopped. And we are 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Endeavour.
And we're at T-minus one minute and counting. Internal electricity Endeavor is now being powered by its three onboard fuel cells. We're coming up on auto sequence start. T-minus 31 seconds and counting. Endeavour's five main onboard computers now have primary control of all the spacecraft's critical functions, including control of the countdown from here on out. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we have to go from ready to start, 2, 1, clear, booster ignition, and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. Mission Control Houston, Endeavour's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. 28 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1100 miles per hour, 1.3 miles in altitude, and 7 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, according to onboard computers. Endeavour's engines are throttling down at the, as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Endeavor. The three main engines are throttling back up, now 1 minute 10 seconds into flight. Endeavour flying at 1800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, 11 and a half miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. The next step will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combine the Endeavour performance is as expected thus far. Two minutes, 19 seconds into the flight. Endeavour flying at 3,700 miles per hour. Propulsion officer confirms that the orbital maneuvering system engines are firing, providing Endeavour with its extra boost to orbit. Endeavour, two engine Zaragoza. Copy, two engine Zaragoza. Now, three minutes and four seconds into the flight, that call indicating an Endeavour could reach Zaragoza in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to operate well. Endeavour's computers showing it flying at 4,600 miles per hour, 50 miles in altitude, and 98 miles downrange. Endeavour, negative return. Copy, negative return. Four minutes and three seconds into the flight, Endeavour is now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the shuttle landing facility in the event of an engine failure. Endeavour is flying at 6,000 miles per hour, 63 miles in altitude, and 180 miles downrange.
Endeavour continu continuing on track. Endeavour, you are pressed to ATO. Copy, pressed to ATO. Five minutes and 18 seconds into the flight. That call indicating Endeavour can now reach a lower than planned but a safe orbit on two engines should one fail, but all three engines are still performing well, as are the auxiliary power units and fuel cells. Endeavour, Singen Ops 3. Endeavour, copy, single engine Ops 3. Five minutes, 50 seconds into the flight, Endeavour could conduct a transatlantic abort landing on one engine should two fail at this point. Endeavour, single engine Zaragoza. Copy, single engine Zaragoza. Endeavour could reach Zaragoza on one engine should two fail at this point. Endeavour, you are pressed to Miko. Copy, pressed to Miko. Six minutes, 22 seconds into the flight, Endeavour can reach the planned orbit on two engines. All three engines continue to operate well. Endeavour Houston, your shutdown plan is nominal. Go for the plus X, go for the pitch maneuver. Nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Endeavour flying at 12,000 miles per hour now. Endeavour single engine press. Copy, single engine press. Seven minutes, eight seconds into the flight, Endeavour can reach its planned orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three still over statute miles, 606 miles downrange. The three main engines are now throttling down to maintain structural limits on the orbiter as it passes or approaches loads near three times gravity. Eight minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Endeavour continuing on track, all systems performing well. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. Endeavour Houston, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. Copy, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. And the external tank has separated now. Nine minutes into the flight of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on STS-130, the crew will be preparing for handheld photography of that external tank with a Plux X maneuver of the orbiter to position Endeavour correctly. Mission Specialist Bob Bankin and Kay Heyer are quickly getting ready to capture that imagery. They, it was a successful launch of Space Shuttle Endeavour. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm like falling 